The Fortnite Chapter 4 launch trailer has now been released and I am going to show you here in this video. It shows all the new characters and the new map of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1. And remember, I'm gifting 100 battle passes of Fortnite Chapter 4 to my subscribers and skins from the item shop. So make sure you go ahead and drop a like and subscribe with all notifications and let's jump into it. As you all know, the theme of this season is paradise, but it is themed around a mysterious Serious substance, the chrome that has appeared on the island and will consume all. Loopers celebrate after the seven defeated the imagined order. As the reality tree appears, changing the southwestern part of the island into a reality biome. Reality roots grew and smaller reality trees appear from the root, changing several locations. The seven investigated the reality tree and the zero point, but most of the members went missing. As Fortnite Chapter 4 is scheduled to be released in less than a month, Donald Muster, the chief creative director at Epic Games, recently changed his Twitter banner. While this doesn't seem like a big deal, gamers who follow Mustard are aware that he uses his banners to hint at upcoming events in the Battle Royale title. Due to this, his latest move is being regarded as an indication to what's to come. As the storyline of Fortnite Chapter 3 is relatively complicated, however, it is clear that the Herald intends to use the reality tree for a greater goal. She was first spotted looking over the tree in Chapter 3 Season 3's trailer, and now finally has a chance to use it to her advantage. Over the course of this current season, the Herald has spread chrome from her sanctum towards the tree. The element has already reached Tilted Towers and could also make its way to a reality tree from Chrome Jam Junction. But what is confirmed is the return of a Chrome character that we all will be able to see in the new trailer of Fortnite Chapter 4. During the launch, it has been confirmed by Fortnite themselves because they teased out a picture of a spray that has been given to the players, telling us that this is the hand of the Midas and it is touching the Chrome. Telling us we are going to be getting a new variant of Chrome Midas in the next chapter of Fortnite's Battle Pass. As Fortnite chapter will begin, we will be seeing the return of the Agent Midas, but in the new form in the form of a Chrome. If you see, this is how it is going to look like in the Battle Pass. Furthermore, if you all remember, like Midas was the one who was stranded in the sea and was being chased by a big shark. And then we presume that he was eaten alive by the shark. But now to our amazement, since the Herald has taken over the island, and to protect the island, the agent is finally returning. And this time he's going to be fighting the Herald, telling that he's also going to be getting changed into Chrome. There's even an exclusive emote that will also be shown to you. Here is the exclusive emote of Fortnite Chapter 4. And this is the Chrome Midas doing it. And just to let you know that the Herald is simply a messenger and she might be preparing the island for another big huge invasion of the last reality. If this happens, fans can expect another fantastic live event at the end of current Fortnite season, as well as an interesting season in early December. And you know what reminds me of December? Winterfest that we get in Fortnite, where we get ourselves tons of free rewards and two free skins. Last time we received the Chrisabelle skin as a free skin, and the Frozen Peely, and the Blizzabell. So a lot of free skins to be claimed. And this chapter is going to be no different as we will be getting new skins as well. The first one being the Holiday Midas is going to be an exclusive skin that everyone will be able to claim for free from the Winter Fresh present box. And that will just be the first skin that we all will be receiving. Just for the second skin, we will be receiving the Holiday Peely skin as well. This Holiday Peely skin is going to be an exclusive one just like the last Christmas skins that we received for completely free. Along with these two free awesome skins, we will be getting ourselves tons of free emotes and other cosmetics during Winterfest. So get ready to receive yourselves tons of free rewards. As Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1 is set to begin in early December, this has been confirmed that there is going to be a two-day downtime since the first day scheduled for December 2nd. And the final live event called The Fracture is planned for December the 3rd. As Chapter 3 saw the end of the game's villainous imagined order, but it's over our leader, the Geno is still at large and seemingly waiting in the wings for a full and proper introduction. There is also a matter of the current season's all chrome goo that is covering the entire map and that has been currently led by a smaller character known as the Herald. Basically, in this upcoming launch trailer, we will be finally seeing who the real Herald was. As in the last trailer, we were able to see the Foundation and the Jones chasing the Geno. 
and finally it will be revealed who Geno really is. But with our confirmation and the leaks from the Epic Games survey, we now have an idea how the Geno is going to look like, and will be revealed in the trailer. He will be a part of the Fortnite Chapter 4's Battle Pass as well. So the reveal of the Geno, the leader of the Imagine Order, while Dr. Sloan and the Herald just being small pawns in this big saga. We will be finally seeing a big battle between the good and the bad. And knowing that this session does end with a big live event, it is likely involving the Herald's last push to fully chrome up the island and presumably the Paradigm's attempt to resist with whatever she brings back from the reality. As seen from the last trailer, she was pushed into the waters of the Zero Point and she was there for a while. And since we are getting a new chapter with a new map, then maybe the Herald will succeed, with the new island being one scrambled by the Chrome, like what happened with the black hole between Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. And to stop the invasion of the Chrome, there is going to be another agent just like Agent Midas, who was introduced two years back, is going to be having a return. But this time it is going to be a different agent that we all love and we all know. As confirmed by the Fortnite and Epic Games survey, we have found out this skin who is going to be having a return. And we all thought that Meow Souls, that's the agent who was introduced two years back, is finally going to be having a return. Last time we saw Meow Souls in Fortnite Chapter 2. And in that same chapter we saw Meow Souls little son, Kit, and Lynx who are a family. And after that the storyline of Meow Souls ended. But then we saw two Meow Souls and this time we are getting Mallet Cells who is going to be a new variation for the Meow Souls and this agent is going to be returning and putting an end to the Herald. And since the Herald is a part of the Imagine Order, the leader who was before her was Dr. Sloan, who was pretty evil. But in the last trailer and we all witnessed that we were following the Foundation and the Jonesy. And then we were stopped by Dr. Sloan. And we were able to finally go ahead and defeat Dr. Sloan and we thought that was the end of Dr. Sloan and Dr. Sloan will never be returning. But to our amazement that she is going to be returning, as confirmed by the Fortnite and Epic Games survey itself, showing us that there is going to be a new variation, a new skin of Dr. Sloan, telling us that she has not been eliminated yet and there is going to be a big return in the Fortnite Chapter 4 launch trailer. And since this season has seen Chrome destroy or alter most of the map, plus the reality tree struggles, it can reasonably be assumed that a new map is on the way. And this is how exactly the Fortnite Chapter 4 launch trailer is going to take place.